What's up guys, this is John from MainPhase.org coming at you with a box break of Eternal Masters. We just got this stuff in today and I thought I'd crack a box for the store and I would show it to you. I'm joined today by Mr. Dan Poirier who's going to provide us with, <laughs> who's going to provide us with a voice. Um, that voice is going to be our commander expert and behind the camera for the moment I've got Mr. Luke Thomas who's going to give you with a special take on Q while I am your legacy guy. So, without further ado, let's bring it down and crack this baby open. My trusty exacto knife. Oh yeah, that new box feel. Let's get this off the table. Mmm, smells like new box. I love it. What am I doing for you guys? Let's crack her open, get her just about like that. Stick that right there, why not? All right. First pack here. I'm feeling good. Foil days. It's coming. This is what I'm looking for. I want me a foil days. Okay, so we've got Humble, duress, they went with the, the newest artwork for duress. I like that one. Actually, that's not the newest not, artwork. Yeah, the newest art would be Dragons of Tarkir. Yeah, there's a, um, what is that, Kolagon? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it's Kolagon and... Okay, uh, unyielding, un... Undying, undying rage. rage. Sorry, I can't read upside down very well. Squadron Hawk. Squadron Hawk, I love that card. The Rage of Standard. <laughs> Nimbo, Nimbo Mongoose, oh yeah. Seal oh. of Cleansing, ooh, look at that new artwork. <laughs> that, is that a Peregrine Drake? That is a Peregrine Drake. And it's a battlefield untap up to five lands. Combo. Combo for you popper players. Wirewood Symbiote for your elves players. Is that Price of Progress? Has that always been an uncommon? Uh, yeah, it was an uncommon in Exodus. Ah. Let's see, we got Goblin Char Belcher. Dies to force a will. Our foil for this pack is a Wildfire Emissary, and we've got a 1 1. Call a spirit token. All right, we got sleeves on hand to put our Goblin Charbelcher in. And one for our foil. I don't think I've seen the list of tokens that were reprinted in the set. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that, guys. You know, get customers, I have to do my job every now and then. So upon some financial job. analysis, we've uh, discovered that price of progress is the money in that pack. So we're just gonna take that and stick it with our Goblin Char Belcher over here. Let's pull the rest of this out of here. Scoop her up all gentle-like. And let's move on to our next pack. You, know you treat the cards gently. <laughs> <laughs> the cards require a very gentle touch. All right, so this pack we got Sting Scourger, Elite Vanguard, Knight's Whisper, Mog. Mug War Marshal. Oh, was that the front of the pack? No. Let's see. Silent Departure. That's from Innistrad, isn't it? Yeah. Roots. Memory Lapse. Pilgrim's Eye. Uh, let's come over here. Firebolt. Rager. Factor oh, Fiction. I can scoop all the commons up. And then yeah, let's get these commons. commons out of here. Seems like a good idea. I'm just going to gloss past most of the commons from here on out, I think. So we got a Factor Fiction, Jidu Slinger, and a Ticking Gnomes. I think Factor Fiction's our best card here. Mm. Fantastic draw spell, that. And then we've got a Foil Keldon Marauders, Great and Burn, and a Deathrite Shaman. Ooh, that's spicy. Deathrite Shaman is not what it used to be. You know, this was a good $15, $20 card, and I know... Um, the modern banning definitely had something to do with the price. Absolutely, but... It, Last I checked, that was like an $8 card, and that was before uh, Eternal Masters printing. So I would imagine that's got to be a good $5 card. What, what do you find out there? Yeah, it's about 6 A $6 card. That's that's not bad. Is that this printing? That's this printing, yes. Right on. So that we can see a little bit of a deflation in that. I expect it to hit 5 bucks. Yeah. All right. Yeah, EBA Buy now has it about 6 Avrax, Avon Wind, Rift Watcher. Okay, Peregrine Drake, Seal of Strength. Nice to see. I like that one. I like that one. It's, I don't know what plays it. 
Seal uh, popper infect. Mm -hmm. Pop right on. There you go. All right. Seismic stump. Uh, Mistral charger. Jungle hollow. Dream twist. Grave digger. Really? Um, Faithless looting. That's a good card right nice. there. Yeah, Faithless looting is arguably one of the best cards in like in a strat cube. In a strat cube. Absolutely. Okay. And then we got. Sarah Angel, which gets uh, a nod because it's been printed from the beginning of time. Young Pyro, which is awesome, plays in uh, Delver, Blue Red Delver. Um, an Ash Nod's Altar, which has a oh, new beautiful. artwork and is fantastic. I, I really like it. It's got it the, the glass nice. glass on it there. And I get that out of here. And we've got a Foil Cephalid Sage, which I don't even know what this is. Uh, threshold, as long as there's seven more cards in your graveyard, Cephalid Sage has, when Cephalid Sage enters the battlefield, draw three cards and discard two. Cool, cool. Uh, once again, to maybe see some popper play, it's the uh, first common printing of it. Right on, right on. Okay, we've got an elephant token, which... Terastodon. Terastodon, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Let's be honest here. That's, that's what we're going to need it for. Honestly, it's for commander <laughs> players. Or, you know, reanimator players like myself. And for our rare, we've got Arcanus the Omnipotent. Which, if left alone, Arcanus will just win you the game. Drawing three cards is not something to shy away from. Yeah. Don't um, let actually, dollar seventy five price tag fool you. I am gonna actually sleeve up this young pyro too because that's got to be a little bit of money. A foil is a lot of bit of money. Yeah, young pyro answer is still like two fifty. Right on. Okay, so next pack. Let's see, we got dress borderland Marauder, commune with the gods glacial wall pacifism tranquil cove. Let's see blossoming sands. I like how That's, they did the uh, yeah, the land did, cycle. Yeah. Was that the cons land yeah, cycle? Cons land cycle. I Which really like how they did that. Uh, Kurt Ape, that gets a slot up here. Oh, that is Kurt a beautiful card. I I didn't know they reprinted Kurt Ape. That's fantastic, actually. Oh, Nature's Claim got some uh, Infect board tech there, and then I we got Infect, but even Popper too. It's pretty good. Uh, Harmonize draw cards in green are hard to come across. Another young Pyromancer. I like to see that. And then we got Send Your Autocrat. And for our rare, we have a Serendibifrit. Which, that's a throwback to old days. See, for our foil, we've got a Blight Soil Druid. Tap, pay one life to add green to your mana pool. Seems solid, seems solid. Alright, um, again, I'm going to sleeve up this young Pyromancer. Harmonize is a good $2, too. Harmonize is a good $2. We'll sleeve that up, too. Along with our Kurt Ape here. All the solid playable cards. Mm -hmm. I so far I love this set. I'm not gonna lie, um, and that's a foil that can come over here too. Get that. All right, what's? Oh, that's our death rate art. All right, what we got carrion feeder, wildfowl emissary, welkin guide, gaseous form, shoreline ranger, coalition honor guard. That's a throwback to apocalypse. Uh, I don't remember anybody playing them, but the it ha if it can be targeted, it has to be targeted. So it's like Spellskite, except for everything always. Uh, Orcish Aura Flame, Wake of Vultures, Dismal Backwater, Tragic Slip. Tragic Slip. Ooh. So worth being in here. You've got to see that reprint in uh, Eldritch Moon. Yes. I would Come like to see. Don't fail I would now. really like to see a Tragic Slip reprint. Okay, Jidu Slinger, another Harmonize. Nice. Mesa Enchantress. Ooh. Ooh. Our rare is Green Sun. Fantastic. Love it. And for our foil, a Yavamaya Enchantress. What's oh, that, that is worth? beautiful. Uh, the Green Sun Zenith. Worth about, about $6. Six Solid. bucks on a Green Sun. That's not bad. Not bad. Got Banned in Modern. It's too good. Got Foil Enchantress. The Foil Enchantress. Yeah, that's what I'm really interested in. While you look for that, I'm going to move on. About a dollar. A dollar, get out. Yeah, it seems like it should be better. Yeah, I expected more than that. All right, moving on here. That's a thing with magic. Sometimes cards like I don't know. I think now that the uh, rarity of the spells has been dropped, it might see additional play in uh, Popper, and that might hopefully yes. drive the price a little bit. I believe it's been a common before. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Nothing that's really jumping out at me in the commons here. i got to be careful. I'm going to ding up these corners. Let's get that out of here. And we've got Juggernaut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, Honan of Night's Reach, which is a beauty your upkeep. Target opponent discards the card for each shrine you control, which I, I guess that would play well with your Enchantress. Yeah, I don't like... I don't... I never really liked the shrine cycle. Um, I'm not a big fan myself, but eh, whatever. It's and then we got a prismatic lens, which again now prismatic has the new the new colorless symbol on it. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, taps for colors or pay one tap at any color. I'd play that in Commander. Uh, for our rare, we have a Maze of Ith. Oh, there's Commander. Which that exactly that says Commander all over it, and we have a foil burning Ooh, vengeance. That is a nice twenty dollars. That is a nice twenty bucks. Hot. Hopefully going to get our money back out of this box. And the Burning Vengeance. Uh, I remember this was a draft strategy. I don't think it really ever made it out of that. Yeah, Burning Vengeance, it's only really good if Flashback is in the format. Like, I know in Innistrad, I think that was, it was Innistrad. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was, I believe that is actually Innistrad. Not even Innistrad yeah. block, just actually Innistrad. Even Innistrad, like, if you're building an Innistrad cube, Burning Vengeance Ooh. is not something to Night's Whisper. Away. That's, I don't know what it's at now, but I remember that being a solid two dollar card. Yeah, and that Whisper has always been pretty good. Grave Digger, like, no um, another Faithless Looting, Brawn. Oh, oh love it. Hotness, that is some uh, EDH stuff right there. Another Sarah Angel, nod to old times. And Ice Whisper is only about eighty cents. Jetting Glass Kite, eighty cents is still eighty cents. And for our rare, we've got a Wrath of God. Which I'm I'm curious to see if that's still five bucks. You know, Wrath of God has been holding five dollars forever. Yeah. Okay, I our foil the, um, is a Centaur Chieftain. It's a lesser cousin, Day of Judgment. It's always been around like two or three dollars too. Yeah, I remember Wrath of God just holding five bucks. Yeah, Wrath of God's about done six, seven dollars. I'm not gonna lie, my card that I'm excited to see out of that pack is the Bron. Uh, the Incarnations, I believe two of them got a reprint in this set. I'm disappointed they didn't do the full cycle. Yeah, I would have liked to see Anger and Filth in the set as well. Yes. Uh, not to mention Valor. Nobody talks about Valor, yeah. you know? it's, it's first, the, first Strike... It's not something to shy away from. First no. Strike's amazing. Yeah, it's a good effect. I feel like just nobody knows about it. In fact, why am I not playing it in my Rune Tail deck? I don't know, man. <laughs> I should be playing this. <laughs> Moving on, okay. Let's see, Prowling Pangolin, Avrax. I gotta stop saying these things just because I'm reading too fast here. Another Nimble Mongoose, which got slighted down to common. I, I believe this was an uncommon before, and it I'm was. pretty solid it deserved the slot. Let's see, Emperor Crocodile. That Avrax. actually got downgraded from rare. What's that? Emperor Crocodile. Did it now? Yes. 5-5 five, five for 4, when you control no other creature, sacrifice it? Huh, I see, I see. Emperor Put it in the zoo Crocodile. strategy. Okay, we've got Eye Blight's ending. Yeah, it's been downgraded from rare in uh, eight and ninth edition. Let's see, we've got a Calciderm, the uh, the color shifted Blastoderm, one of my favorite personal favorite magic cards. You know, five five Shroud, Vanishing Four, uh, which the original Blastoderm I believe it was Fading Four, which is almost yeah. the same ability. Um, and yeah, it's it's a cheaply costed creature that you can't target that will go away eventually. But you better believe I'm gonna throw it at you. Every time. Oh, Calciderm and Blastoderm always got a lot of damage in. Yeah. Okay, Trigon Predator. That thing is solid. This is a card that we have not had in the store for quite some time. I'm actually very happy to have cracked that. Uh, I'm not even playing Green Blue right now in, uh, in Commander, but I know I'm going to need it eventually. Um, we've got our first Brainstorm. Uh, which beautiful. you better believe that's going to get sleeved up. Brainstorm, the best draw spell ever printed, in my opinion. Um, that's not power. <laughs> what are you talking about? Treasure Trees, man. You shut your mouth. <laughs> you should have also put, that's not banned in every relevant format. You're right, you're right. For our rare, we've got Unexpectedly Absent. Now that is a pretty do good Do you know this game. card? This is a great card. I do know the card. Uh, pay it for zero. Goes down if you happen to hit a shit ton of mana. Drop it to the uh, bottom of their library and mill them out. Why yeah. not? White, white, the top deck something? Is not an effect. That's not something to shy away from. Yeah, top oh, decking something it. is not an effect you get in white. You know, that's something that you pay a blue for. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got a Warden of Evos Isle. Dragon which, token. <laughs> and a Dragon Token. 
and a dragon token, which is worth noting. Warden of Evo's Isle uh, is fairly new, I'm pretty sure, here. 2-2 two, two for 3 flyer. Creature spells with flying you cast cost 1 less to cast. Cool. Unexpectedly absent, only a dollar? Hmm. It seems like it should be worth more, personally, but... Eh, it doesn't see a ton of play. It's still some pretty good spot removal, though. It is. Uh, I expect now that there's going to be a lot more of them in the format, it'll start seeing more play. I believe but that yeah, was a Commander printing, printing originally, yeah, wasn't it? Was it? Commander yep. 2013. And getting Commander singles is not easy. I think it was in the... Um... The deck with the Laura. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that commander printing. All right, moving on here. New f- uh, new commons, new commons. Benevolent, benevolent Bodyguard, Carrion Feeder, Wildfire Emissary, let's see, Sylvan Might, Seismic Stomp, Monk Adelist, Elephant Guide. <laughs> hey, there's where the Thuxi Elephant goes. Um, yeah, that is, that is your elephant right there. I was thinking that went with Boggles, but that's not the card I was thinking yeah. of. Scoured Barons, let's see. Oh, we got a Swords. Ooh. Ooh. So it's the plowshares. I'm gonna ballpark that at three dollars. What do you think? Three? I'm thinking about like four or five. Well, I don't know. It's been reprinted a lot of times. Yeah, it has. It's been losing a little bit of the value lately. I'm thinking about two fifty, three dollars also. Three fifty. Three fifty. Not bad. It's not bad. That's about what I expect. I'm, I I bet you that Source. settles down to three. Yeah. It is a familiar artwork on it too. So. It's yeah, yeah. It's From something that. Those people that don't have it are going to absolutely need it. You know, everybody should just have a play set of Swords about Plastics. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Swords is just some of that spot removal that's it's viable in Legacy, yep. Commander, yeah. most cube formats. Commander, you're playing yeah. white, you're running Path, and you're running Swords. It's given. Yeah, everybody needs, you need a Path, and you need a Swords, just to start with. Not to mention Legacy Death Attack, because I believe they play four Swords of Plastics. Oh, there's a lot of decks in Legacy. I mean, Miracles? Yeah, Miracles, uh-huh. that's true. Um, Maverick. Most, most decks that play white. You play of course, Death and Taxes, yeah. Uh, I'm not a white player in Legacy. Nonetheless. If I'm playing... Yeah. Oh, no, there was... I played white in Legacy one time. It was my Hunt Show deck. Which, most of you out there don't know what that is, and you shouldn't. Um, that was Hunting Grounds... And I would get Threshold, turn one, which Hunting Grounds, if you don't know, is an enchantment for a green and a white. It says Threshold, if your opponent does anything, if your opponent casts a spell, you can put a creature card from your hand into play for free, which is Progenitus. Moving on. Oh, wait, no, I'll explain the, the fault in that deck. Um, oh, let's, let's continue with the uh, it, It's really quick. Yeah. Um, turns out if your opponent sticks a creature, turn one, you just can't deal with it. Moving on. Uh, Armadillo Cloak, which is still not been errated to lifelink. Thank God. Yeah, Armadillo Cloak has always been solid. Yeah. And then behind that, we've got a Daze. I'm hoping to see a foil one of these. That is, I'm going to say, the second best uh, counterspell in Legacy. Behind Force of Will, of course. Daze is about $3. Just in the regular pricing. Not bad, not bad. And then to go with that, we've got a Mother of Runes. With Art by Teresa Nielsen is amazing, by the way. It's nice, but I'm not a fan. I really wish they would have gone with the old artwork. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen the foils on the old artwork are like 60 bucks? I would have liked to see that get tanked down a little bit. And I Although, need one for my commander deck. This is the first printing, foil printing of that Teresa Nielsen art. So that's true. Solid. True. You're not wrong there. And then we also have our foil rare of the box, Diminishing Returns. I mean, Diminishing Returns, solid card. Don't get me wrong. But, eh. Uh, what are you doing here? Blue, blue, two for a sorcery. Each player shuffles his or her hand and graveyard into his or her library. You exile the top ten cards of your library, then each player draws up to seven cards. It's not awful. Eh. You're right. I'm not overly excited for it. But we're going to sleeve it up. release prices, just but say. It's, uh, $13. On the foil side? Yeah. Eesh. I'm going to presume that's just the, uh, it's, it's not even the first week of release yet, so yeah. give it time. Move on, next pack here. Let's start glossing over these commons, unless they're yeah, unless good commons. Oh, we've got another tragic slip. <laughs> okay. Let's get that out of here. Okay, we got Green Honden. Okay, we Dragonauts. And 
Intangible virtue for your token strategies. Intangible virtue is just fantastic. I believe intangible virtue is banned in uh, in popper. No, it's uncommon. Yeah, it's, it's always been printed as an uncommon, but I believe it's banned in um, block constructed. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. Yeah. That was a really powerful strategy. Lingering right souls is in the format as well, so that's kind of a problem together. Exactly. Okay, our rare for the pack is a heritage druid. Which look at Solid. that. That's that is bent out of the that package. is bent coming out of the package. Disappointing. Indeed, I am not overly excited about that. You want to get the door for him, will you? And then to go with that, we've got a Lissalana Huntsmaster in foil. Which, that is absolutely going to see a ton of play in Elf Ball Commander decks. I uh, don't believe it sees play outside of that, though. Yeah. What's going on, Dave? We are, in fact... Yep, just got this stuff in. We're going to crack a box for the store, see what we get, and I thought I'd uh, make a video of it and have a good time. All right, let's see. Oh, more Curd Ape. Love that Curd Ape. Nature's time, though. Uh, is it worth pulling out? I don't think Not it is. Really. Oh, Blood Artist! But the Beetle Bag Chief, that thing's not common. Yeah, I'm talking about it. Let's get it out of here. Blood Artist. Uh, he makes goblins. Blood Artist. Soul Catcher. Um, Blood Artist was a strategy that Oh, man. Well, if Zulaport Cutthroat says anything. Yeah. It's that I hate it. Mm. And Blood Artist is better. Yeah, it's just whenever a creature dies. It's yeah. not when a creature you control dies. Okay, to go with that, we've got a Vindicate. Solid card. White, black, one sorcery. Destroy target permanent. Who doesn't like to destroy permanents? And we've got a Foil Wake Dancer and a Spirit Token. Vindicate's about $11. $11, bucks, hot. We might make money yet. Let's see. Bring on the force of will. Bring on the force of will, indeed. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that in foil. That would make the box, for sure. So we're down about nine packs now? Let's see. Four, eight. We have 12 yet after this one. So halfway through. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do this. Take the common cinema side. We got a flint hoof boar. Oh, flamekin zealot, and a war priest of Thune. Um, war priest of Thune. Anybody? You guys? It's pretty good. Destroy it's target enchantment. Um, hate bears. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's fair. Solid. Flint hoof boar. I haven't seen outside of standard. Um, <laughs> flamekin zealot. I can tell you is the kill in dredge, and legacy dredge. You are going to. Uh, mill your Narc Amoebas in. You're going to use... What's the spell I'm thinking of here? Dread Return. Dread Return, thank you, to sack three Narc Amoebas to reanimate your Flamekin Zealot, getting you, uh, assuming you have three bridges in the yard, uh, three, six, nine zombies, nine, two, two zombies. This yeah, guy I'm makes them, them three, three zombies and gives them haste to get them into your face. And that is usually turn two. Let's see, with that... Ooh, we've got a Glare of Subduel... Enchantment for four, uh, white, green, two. Tap an untapped creature you control. Tap or untap. No, tap target artifact or creature. Doesn't say untap. Sorry, Dan. No. To go with that, probably a lot better, is a foil wall of omens. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and sleeve that up right now. I'm pretty sure a regular one is at like $6, so that's got to be some solid money. Yeah. Foil one right now is 10 bucks. Right on. Okay, moving on here. Uh, you got some comments with your uh, pay risks. I'll move that, that stuff out of here in a second. Oop, the show must go on. All right. Ooh, ooh. Man, this where we're putting these comments is not the best. I am not loving it at all. Okay, we've got Tooth and Claw. Enchantment for four. Uh, sack two creatures, put a 3-1 red beast creature token named Carnivore onto the battlefield. I've not seen this card before, and I like it. Uh, I believe it was printed in... I don't want to say... I've seen the next one. Don't even worry about it. it. After that, we've got a Rancor. Hot. Which, at the very least, I know is played it's in Boggles. It's 
Stompy okay. all the way across the board. So we got to victimize. Uh, black two sorcery. Choose two target creature cards in your graveyard. Sack a creature. If you do, return the chosen cards to the battlefield tapped. Oh, that's fantastic. This is cool. And we've got Visara the Dreadful for our rare. J a 5-5 flyer for black, 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 and three. Tap, destroy target creature. Which, uh, that's... And it can be regenerated. That is not pretty solid. Hey, from. legendary creature. I like it. I'm just going to face that down while I sleeve this up. Because this next one is a foil pyroblast. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, you want to price foil check printing. that? First foil printing. That's got to be something. That's got to be worth something, dude. That is an instant for a red. Choose one. Counter target spell if it's blue or destroy Ooh. target permanent if it's blue. What are we looking at? 38. 38 bucks. Woo! So far, I'm going to say this is our big money. Uh, you know, Wall of Omens was good. I'm thinking that something we're going to be seeing throughout this set is the money is not going to be necessarily in the rares. Really well, watching our foils, really watching the uncommons. A lot of it will be reprint money. Harris Druid's still exactly. at 20 bucks. Yeah. A lot of first foil printings as well. Uh, Maze of Ith was 20 bucks. So far, Pyroblast is our money. Absolutely, Pyroblast is our money. Yeah. I mean, maybe until you open, like, a Foil Force will, but... Absolutely. All we want to do is one-up the previous card. Okay. Set these down. Armadillo Cloak. Glimmer Point Stag. And to go with the Pyroblast, we've got a regular Hydro Blast, which, it's okay. It's all right. Still sees play. When your counter magic isn't enough, bring in a Hydro Blast to wreck those red players. you got to blow okay. up those red permanents. To go with that, we've got an Avon Rift Watcher, 2-3 Flyer with Vanging 3, enters the battlefield or leaves the battlefield, you gain 2 life. Solid, not a bad guy. And a Xanted Swarm. Now, Xanted Swarm, what is there to say about Xanted Swarm? Well, I mean, it silences you, so that's going to see play somewhere. Um, I believe Xanted Swarm is seeing play in Storm. Um, I believe in Storm. Um, they drop a turn one, they attack their opponent, they storm out, and they win. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the play. Yeah. It's, they bring it in out of the board. Well, normally you bring it in expecting like a cluster storm or something of the sort. And you just say no. Alright. Stop Next one, we got a Squadron Hawk in the commons of the next pack here. Abundant Groove. Oh. And our uncommons. This card is still in standard. Shaman of the pack. It's still worth a good two bucks. It's still money. I mean, we're out of them in the store right now. I'm sure they included it. It's good in the uh, formats, but limited. However, it's this good in only limited. Worth 40 cents. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. Okay, we got an Annihilate blowing stuff up. Uh, Sprite Noble. 2-2 two, two for 3 flying. Other creatures you control with flying get plus 0 plus 1. Tap other creatures you control with flying get plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. So it seems like there's a, a flying package uh, in the set. We're just you, there is a, a flying deck that you can build. Yeah. Mono blue flyers. Or blue flyers. This is a legacy. I doubt anybody's playing hey, there's mono. there's a carnivore token. There's our carnivore token. Yep. We've got a foil juggernaut. Uh, Woo! <laughs> and to go with that, we've got a sulfuric vortex. A sulfuric vortex is a very good card. I believe it's say, or played in the sideboard of uh, Legacy Burn. Oh. I wouldn't surprise me. I don't know what's really going to... Yeah, I don't know really what's, However, what's really going to gain you life in Legacy. What a lot of people are probably going to play it in, Commander. I believe it bugs the most people in Commander. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, there's like Soul Sisters. Soul Sisters a Legacy deck? No, I don't believe so. Beyond that, I don't know what you're really going to uh, be gaining life with. Um, let's it's see. more of the two damage. Yeah, area. playing Delver strategies in Legacy and Burn. We've got a Mog Fanatic in the commons on the uh, the next pack here, oh, man. which used to be good. Mm -hmm. He was always a pretty good card, don't get me wrong. Well, like, he's, oh, you're going to go remove him. Or... He's only okay now. When you can put damage on the stack, that is a one drop that would take out a two drop. Take out something with two toughness. Okay, our commons from the next pack. we got a Shaman of the Pack again. Woot. Uh, Timber Watch Elves. There's definitely an elf package. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. And a Phyrexian Ingester. Ooh. It's been shifted down from a rare, believe it or not. 
Yeah, still a I very do. Good card. Which is gonna definitely hurt my prices in the binders. Okay, no we've got a Maelstrom Wanderer. Oh, this that is hot. hot. Is yeah, the second foil printing that's not in a special set. I was gonna say he is. Oh, I guess anyway. Commander's Arsenal. Yeah, uh, Commander's uh, Arsenal. He's got a foil. I believe Flame Chance. And then our uh, foil a, uh, is a foil Squadron Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> which I like it. I feel like he's relegated to Commander. Except you can't play him in Commander because he's not I good he's there. Played in modern. Yeah? Soul Sisters. Yeah. Yeah, he's played in Soul Sisters in Modern. Right on. And then Popper and uh played in Cobblade and Legacy. Cool. Huh. Look at that, I'm learning stuff. Still not bad. Two dollars. Alright. Next pack here. Oh, counterspell. Card that hasn't been printed in an easy ten years. Magic said they'll never do it again. I am so unhappy with them. Um, Werebear. What can I say about Werebear? They fucked up the flavor text. He does not have the right to bear arms. The old Werebear had better artwork, and he had the right to bear arms. I cannot get past this. Werebear, you are a fail. Hey, we've got... Mistake. That is actually... This is going to be the first foil printing of Maelstrom Wander. Really? That is my bet. Was he not in the uh, Commander's Arsenal? He was. But... Um, the first one that wasn't a special set. Oh, fair, fair. Okay. Let's see, we've got our third Hongdon of the uh, the box here. We've got a relic of Regenitus, which is some solid hate. Let's see, um, imagine with your trinket mage. Absolutely, we got an animate dead, which there's your gas for the reanimator package in this box. Okay. Even tomb is also printed in this set. Gas and tomb is and printed hate. in the set. I'm looking for four of. Hopefully, out of this box. Don't think we're gonna get them. Yeah, no. Um, I've got a Necropotence here. Necro is a solid card. Necro I have not seen in Legacy. You know, is it even playable in Legacy anymore? I think it might be banned, actually. Yeah, I think it's just banned. Uh, it's solid, solid so commander card, though. Yeah, without a doubt. Well, it's Eternal Masters. It's not Legacy Masters, uh, unfortunately. It's vintage playable. Yeah. And then we have a Foil Inkwell Leviathan. That's which is oh, cool, but I don't think it's worth much. Uh, the Necro is about 9.50. Although, uh, Inkwell Leviathan played in Reanimator. Because who doesn't play blue in Reanimator, or in no Legacy? Shroud. And he's got Island Walk, Trample, and Shroud. So you are not still, still going to touch him. Is that the uh, best Leviathan you can think of? Uh, no. No, what do you got that's better? Uh, Stormcloud Leviathan, I believe. All right. All right. See, Sting Scourger. Oh, man, I hate this card. I'm a, le- I'm a Reanimator player. And this thing says, pick up your guy. I show and tell this in, and they go, that's cool, pick it up. Yeah, it's a solution to Emrakul. Man of War. Small story, you cannot uh, misdirect a Man of War. <laughs> okay, we've got another Rancor, awesome. Oh, yeah. Let's see, nice. Beetleback Chief, another price of progress. Get that out of here. We've got a Foil Blood Fell Caves. Don't do this. What? <laughs> you don't like suspense? Do you know what? Did you see this? Can you see this? <laughs> this is uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, oh. Man. Yeah, that's only the best Planeswalker ever printed. Altum rings the alt. People, Fuck your day. A lot of people like to debate that it's between Liliana of the Veil and Jace the Mind Sculptor, but I think Jace, uh, with his zero ability, I think he's just that much better because of it. Um. Yeah. Well, I'll give it to you like this. Jace draws you cards. Liliana makes you discard them. And makes your opponent sack creatures, but I mean, hey, it was kind of... Yeah. That bounces up. It also bounces creatures, too. That is relevant. Yeah. Jace has four Seven abilities. Eight. I'm pretty sure Jace is the forced... The, the forced... The first uh, Planeswalker to have four Jace abilities. Jace is the force. And he is the force. The force is strong with this one. Um, I believe since they've printed Jace the Mind Sculptor, they haven't truly done a Planeswalker with four abilities. Uh, I know there's Liliana of the Dark Realms. New Ireland. Uh, New Ireland. Fair, fair. Ireland's got abilities front and back. Um, discounting that, I know Lily of the Dark Realms has three abilities, but one of them can be used two different ways. Yeah. Like, you can pump your own guy, or it's, you can minus theirs into the they ground. You give them minus, or minus X, minus O, or minus X, minus, minus X, X, where X is the number of swamps you control, or plus X, plus X, where X is the number of swamps you control. Ooh. Chain Lightning. Solid. Solid card. 
Solid, yeah, that, that is... Played in Legacy Burn. Played in Burn. I believe that's the only place it's played, but that is yeah. enough. I, I believe it's played in Fossil, too. I don't know. Okay, we've got uh, Hemda Turok. That's played in Legacy Jund. Yeah. Yeah, which means we'll get another foil printing of Hemda Turok, not in special foil. So we're going to get... That, that's going to be a better foiling, in my opinion. Uh, Zealous Persecution, which, if you've got little guys, this thing is going to murder Ooh, them. That Hemda Turok. That's a $2 him to Turk. That's awesome. I'm going to set that stuff aside here. For our rare, we've got Jareth, Leon, and Titan. Which, I don't know why this guy is in the set, honestly. I don't either. He's a big, big dud. He's a big cat for you. He's a big cat, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure my regular printings are like a dollar. Oh, Chain Lightning's only eight bucks. Only eight dollars. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> and then, more than Jareth. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The money in the pack is absolutely the Chain Lightning. We've got a foil Phyrexian Rager, which still a solid card. Absolutely a solid card. If you're like drafting Eternal Masters, or yeah, in the draft playing like draft environment, field. he is just very, very good. Some form of sealed. Um, I remember playing him in standard. It's just getting you cards, and cards are good. Yeah. It's a draw spell in a creature. How do you go wrong? So you think we plus yet? I believe so. We've got a lot of solid cards. Backs left to go. So. Oh, Man of War. Still can't misdirect a Man of War. Oh, Honed it of Seeing Winds. Well, there's our that's, blue shrine. That's, that's four colors now, isn't it? Yeah, I believe we have all. Okay, we got another... Four colors. You what? <laughs> I believe that's only four colors of Honed we've seen. Green, red... Yeah, we haven't seen the white one yet. There you go. My mistake. Okay, we got a Flint Hoof Boar. And I oh, wonder geez. what this one is. Oh. Oh, jeez, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad pun. Bad pun. <laughs> that was awful. Um, Wonder, probably the one of those three cards that's going to see the most play. Got uh, Nevin Rolls Disc, which, if you don't have one of these in your commander deck, you should get one of these in your commander deck. It's fairly cheap. And it wrecks. Just wrecks. Everything but Planeswalkers. So you get, you land your Planeswalker and then blow everything up. Also, if you play it with the Darksteel Forge, everyone hates you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because you keep your stuff, including the disc. Yeah, it doesn't sacrifice itself to destroy everything. That's no, it, it destroys itself as part of the effect. So if it's indestructible, then it just doesn't die. And we've got an Avarax in foil to go with that, which is a 5-drop, 3-3 three, three haste. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a card named Avarax. So you're not playing that, Commander. Uh, <laughs> reveal it, put it into your hand. So it'll just keep, and go, keep on going it and getting itself. The words, what are words? Stuff. All right, next pack here. Oh, another chain lightning. Beautiful. Solid. Solid eight dollars again. Got Hoden of Life's Web. I'm pretty sure we've seen that one. Yeah. Uh, and Gaia's Blessing. Mel Crew. Uh, target player shuffles up with three target cards from his or graveyard digital library. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is a must-have in a green deck. Is it now? It's milk. Um, it's put into your graveyard from the library, shuffle your graveyard into your library. That is hot. I will absolutely play that in my green decks. And we've got Control Magic, which I like your creatures better than my own. I'm going to take them. And a Foil Tranquil Cove. Noteworthy. You cannot control magic a Void Venor. I like this <laughs> card on Control Magic. You can mind control. It's not bad. I like it. However, you cannot control magic. Because that is four mana, and that is an even number. Okay, how are we doing here? Oh, we are at the bottom of the box here. I've got this pack and two more. Let's see. Innocent Blood. Innocent Blood is a solid card. That's, yeah, absolutely solid. That's the first time I've seen that one in our commons. Uh, Seal of Cleansing, like that. Okay, let's get that out of here. Got Mindless Automaton, which is a solid artifact creature. We Dragonox, Dragonox, and another Blood Artist. Ooh. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah. That is a, I believe I caught For a rare, oh no, you don't get to see, you don't no. get to see. For a rare, we've got a Rorix Blade Wing, 6-5 Flyer for 6, Legendary Dragon, Flying Haste. He'll just punch you in the face. And what I'm not showing these guys, is while I sleeve this up, Come on, I can't pick it up. Is a foil zealous persecution. Ooh. That's spicy. What is this? Is that a misprint on token? It looks like. Take a look at that. See the writing along the outside edge there? 
Huh. Yeah. Oh, All no. of them have it. Now, that is interesting. Is oh, I was reading something about the reading a puzzle. I believe it's something for conspiracy. Is it not? Oh, we're coming back to that. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we'll get back to that in a moment. Or we could just focus all of our time on it right now. <laughs> it will No, we're coming back. back. I just wanted to play with a little yeah, bit. Come on, Mom. <laughs> I'm not Mom. Mom's in the pile. <laughs> <laughs> not complaining about that either. All right. Second to last pack here. All right. Get these out of the way. We've got a flame jab. One damage start creature player retrace. Yeah, I'm going to poke your stuff out. We got a merfolk looter, which... I, I have rode Merfolk Looter to so many wins back in the day of um, Blue Green Madness. Oh man, think Jace, but he doesn't flip. That's like the best. Think part. Jace, but he doesn't flip. Exactly. Everything you like about Jace, minus the back of him. <laughs> this is half of a good card. <laughs> and then we've got a Jetting Glass Kite, which whenever it becomes a target of a spell or ability for the first time each turn, counter that spell. Six drop, four, four flyer that is hard to remove. Let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got a DAC emblem here. Ooh. Which, we've got one pack left, I can hope. I, I can hope. Yeah, it's, it's the I got a foil pacifism. That's uh, not worth a lot, but very spicy card. And our rare from the pack, that's a Sensei's Divining Top. Oh. It's very hot. It's not foil. It's not foil. But uh, that's still a pretty, pretty solid card. Definitely going to sleeve that up right away. 24. $24 on a dive top. Right on. All right, moving the box out of the way here for our last pack. Yeah, it is a new art on the uh, on the dive top. And I might even like it more. All right, so I'll run through the commons of this last pack here just to build some suspense. we got a Benevolent Bodyguard, Carrion Feeder, Wildfowler Emissary, Welkin Turn. Oh, Welkin Guide, sorry. There's a lot of things I wasn't expecting in this set yeah. in here. <laughs> Super fine touch. Commune with the gods. Oh, there's another Man of War just constantly reminding me of my failures. Windscarred Craig. A Nausea. And a Carbonize for your commons. We've got a Milliken. <laughs> yeah. Um, I believe that one plays in Arkham Dagson Commander. Yeah, something like that. Which, that's a hateful, hateful deck. Um, another Wall of Omens. Liking it. And our last uncommon is a Cabal Therapy. Cabal Therapy. Cabal Therapy, what which... What is there to say about Cabal Therapy? It wrecks your shit after it gets probed. Yeah, it does. Or I'm just going to Cabal Therapy you, sack my zombie token, and Cabal Therapy you again. Yeah. Um, Solid $9 card. Small note, what do you say the first time when you cast a Cabal Therapy? Every time. Force of will. will, that's right. Just in case. It puts them in the position of, do they counter the Cabal Therapy with the Force of Will? To which the answer is probably not. Okay, we've got what's a Surf Token. I don't know what makes that. You guys know Surf Token? No, I can't say I do. Oh, one Surf Token, interesting. Okay, I've got a Foil Abundant Growth. Which, still hotness. And our uh, final card from the box here, that's a Shardless Agent. Oh, oh that's hot. Uh, that's not bad, not bad at all. So, in closing, we've got a bunch of eight, nine dollar cards. Twelve, not bad. $12, not bad. We've got a bunch of eight, nine dollar cards in the foils and uncommons. Um, we cracked Jace the Mind Sculptor, which uh, I'm not sure if he's still holding 100. No, he was in the 70s when I said 70 he's still. Still a good 70 75. That's, that's good value. And we got that a dive top, um, Mother of Runes. I'm just going to actually leaf through this and pull it. Well, actually, first I'm going to sleeve this Shardless Agent. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. So. Yeah, I got a bunch of comes on. Yeah, get that crap out of here. Good stuff out of here. So, Shardless Agent, Divining Top. Let's see. Uh, I got uh, Blood Earth. Jace the Mind Sculptor. That's not worth tabling, though. Foil Inkwell Leviathan, while not worth much, it's still very cool. Maelstrom Wander. Uh, how am I doing on the shot here? I'm going to run out of table. Uh, you're good till two more cards. Cool, cool. 
Okay. Uh, did you know what the the Zantid Swarm was? The Zantid Swarm? Uh, I don't know what the price of it is. We're gonna put that to the front. It might be worth it. Uh, Vindicate. That was what six bucks. Vindicate. Eleven. Eleven dollars on the Vindicate. Okay. Heritage Druid. It's all ten bucks. Let's see, uh, Mother of Runes. Okay. Uh, which what was the mother? The mother, I believe, was two. Two bucks. That doesn't sound right, no. Uh, Wrath of God, which is a solid five bucks. I uh, know, it's a Zantid Swarm that was two dollars. Okay, well, this Zantid Swarm can stick it in the back here. Yeah. Might be. Yeah, how are we doing on that, Mom? It's loading. It's loading, okay. okay. 375, that seems... 375 that seems on a Mom? I'm, I'm so let down. My Mom is worth more than that. True. Okay, we've got... The Maze of It here, which that solid was... Solid 20. Solid 20 bucks. Green Sun Zenith. Solid 6, 7. Okay, we got a Death Rate Shaman. Um, and that's it from our rares. Jumping over to our Foils and Uncommon stack. Let's see. Foil Zealous Persecution. I don't even know what that's worth, but it's worth it. Chain Lightning. Uh, regular Zealous Persecution. That's probably not worth it. Yeah, no. Another Chain Lightning. Like it. Oh, Foil Pyroblast. Oh, of course. Cannot forget about that. Uh, foil Wall of Omens. Curd Apes. I don't think Curd Apes are really that much, but it's still not worthy. We'll pull it off. We'll pull it off. It's cool. Um, But I'm going to replace the Curd Ape with a Swords to Plowshares. <laughs> but of course. Uh, and a Daze, because those are just legacy played things. We got one Brainstorm in the whole box. The That's. Foil person? Five bucks, right on. One brainstorm in the whole box. That's a bit of a letdown. Let's see. Uh, oh, another curd ape there. Harmonize. Two young pyros. Which those were what? Two fifty a piece. Yeah. Something like that. They've always held around two fifty. And we've got. And to close it out. Oh, we've got. Of course. Wall of Omens. Cabal therapy. And. And to close it out, we've got a Foil Keldon Marauders, which I'm not sure if it's worth anything. I know it's been reprinted yeah. um, in the Fire and Lightning set. Yeah. yeah, it was in the Fire and Lightning and then its original printing, I believe, in uh, Planar Chaos. And yeah, the original printing, you could get a foil as well. So running over this, I don't even want to do the math, but I'm pretty sure we have made our money back. Yeah. Honestly, with the Jace... And everything else in the box, quite easily. Yeah, we've got one big money card, and then a whole lot of between like eight and twenty dollars. Probably see a calculation at the bottom of the screen there when we're finished editing. Mm -hmm. this. Yeah, well, we'll do you some some money in post. Well, guys, this has been our box break for MainPhase.org. Luke, Dan, myself, and latecomer Dave. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for tuning in. All right, guys. So I ran the values. I inventoried all the uh, the rares, the uh, foil uncommons, and your money uncommons, all your foils as well. And it came out to four hundred and six dollars. So I definitely plussed on my box. Um, if you're interested in any of that stuff that we cracked, check us out at mainphase.org. I'd be happy to sell that stuff to you or mail it to you. Um, and be sure to put in punch in uh, promo code MP Box Break to get five percent back on your store credit. That's all for me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.